Hello, this is Brian Wright from Wright Consulting back again with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to uninstall applications on Windows 7. And what I've done for this tutorial is I've intentionally set up this computer with a bunch of, uh, we'll say, undesirable software that I would normally not touch with a 10 foot pole. Uh, but uh, installing this stuff on this computer gives me the opportunity to show you a couple of the more interesting things you might run into when you're trying to uninstall software off your own computer. So let's get started. Okay, to get started uninstalling software on Windows 7, go ahead and click your Start button and go to Control Panel. And you may see a screen that looks like this. This is the large icons view, and in this, or even the small icons view, you'll find the Programs and Features button and click that. Now if your screen doesn't look like this, it may look like Category View. And in this view, find the Programs heading and click Uninstall a Program. Either path will take you to this screen in which all of the applications we have installed on our computer are listed. And we're going to go from top to bottom and uninstall uh, most of these applications that I've installed on this computer. Uh, we'll get started with the Crawler Smiley's application and to uninstall any program you'll right click and you'll select the uninstall option. Now this is doing something pretty common, it's just asking us to confirm that we want to uninstall it and I will click yes and we'll wait for the uninstaller to complete. Uh, this takes a few seconds or up to a couple of minutes depending on the program. Well the uninstall is completed and it's saying some elements could not be removed. These can be removed manually. Basically what this is saying is the uninstall application was a little bit irresponsible and it left pieces of the application on our computer. Uh, we could locate these and remove them manually later if that bothers us, but for now we're just going to go ahead and click OK. But be aware that sometimes that happens. Next up is the Crawler toolbar. Again, we'll right click. And now we see it says Uninstall Change. Now what this tells us is the Uninstall program is going to give us a couple additional options more than likely, maybe to change the program instead of completely uninstalling it. So we'll go ahead and select that. And as you can see here, the Crawler Toolbar Uninstall is giving us a couple of other options here. Um, basically, they want us to uh, complete a little bit of a survey here. They say, help us improve Crawler Toolbar. Please select your reason for uninstall. Well, you know what? I really don't care about that. I installed this basically to show you how to uninstall software, so uh, we really don't need to give them feedback. We'll just click Next. And now it says the selected components will be removed and data will be lost. Well, you know what? This is Crawler Toolbar. I don't think we're real concerned with losing its data. But what we do want to look at is uh, Crawler Toolbar. We want to uninstall that, so we'll leave that selected. Now the other two options, Restore Internet Browser's Default Homepage and Restore Internet Browser's Default Search Settings. Well, Crawler Toolbar changed that stuff, so let's let them change it back. We'll select both those options and hit Uninstall. And basically now it's telling us we need to reboot to complete the uninstall. Well, we've got a bunch of uninstallations to do, so we'll click no. Um, in the real world, you would generally want to reboot between uninstalls, but uh, just for uh, my purposes, we'll click no. Now as you can see, as we uninstall software, it'll generally disappear from this list. Uh, next up is the Google toolbar for Internet Explorer. We'll right click select uninstall and the Google toolbar is very fast and easy it doesn't ask us to confirm anything it just uninstalls and goes away alright next up is the inbox toolbar I don't even know how this got on the computer I believe this came from what's called a drive-by download I intentionally turned some security settings off in Internet Explorer and surfed the internet for a while just to see what would happen and this is the kind of stuff that it uh, results in so I will right click inbox toolbar Select Uninstall, and it's asking us to confirm that. We'll click Yes, and it is uninstalled. Next up, we've got My Web Search. Um, a lot of people have this installed on their computer. It's often bundled with other software, and that's usually how you get it. Again, we'll right-click and select Uninstall or Change. And now, this is something that's fairly common with software like this. Um, they're presenting us with a couple of options just to try and confuse us. We've got this Remove My Personal Product Settings When Uninstalling option. 
Well, my web search isn't saving any settings that we particularly care about, so of course we want to remove them. Um, if it has any settings saved, it's marketing data that they completely intended to send to uh, servers somewhere with uh, your browsing history, more than likely. Um, down here at the bottom, we have, of course, a yes and no option, but we've also got canceled. They're giving us two no options, in essence, to uh, basically entice us to either get confused or close the uninstall without actually doing it. But we will click yes to complete the uninstall. And again, it's saying it's not completely uninstalled until after we reboot, so we will click OK. And next up is OpenOffice.org. Now, this program doesn't really be long with the rest of this stuff because OpenOffice is a very good application. Um, it's basically an alternative to Microsoft Office. It is free and it can open Microsoft Office files. Um, but again, we're going to go ahead and uninstall this just to show you a couple of things about uninstalls. We'll right click and we see we have an uninstall change and repair option here. Now the uninstall of course is going to uninstall the entire program. Uh, change, what change usually does is it gives you the option of adding and removing parts of the program. Let's say uh, I want to keep the word processing application from OpenOffice but remove the spreadsheet. This is where I would go to do that. And repair reinstalls every part of an application that you have installed. So if an application gets corrupted, well this is where you would go to possibly fix that. Uh, for now we'll go ahead and do an uninstall and it's asking us to confirm. We will click yes. Well, what we're seeing here is what's called a user account control dialog box. Um, this is some protection that's built into Windows and a lot of times when you're uninstalling or installing software you'll get windows like this. Basically they pop up to confirm that you know what your computer is doing. Um, basically this says, do you want to allow the following program to update software on your computer? Uh, program name, openoffice.org, etc, etc. Um, basically this will pop up so we know that software is installing or uninstalling on our computer and that a virus or another application isn't doing it on our behalf. Of course, we intentionally uninstalled OpenOffice, so we can click yes to this. We know that's safe. Well, through the magic of video editing, we are back. And what we're seeing here is something that's fairly common. Uh, the OpenOffice.org uninstaller is trying to pop up a website asking us to take a survey. Um, we'll go ahead and cancel that. The last program I want to show you how to uninstall is WinZip 14 and that's because it's the perfect example of why you want to go through the right steps to uninstall a program. I'm going to go back to the desktop and show you something that WinZip does when you install it. If I right click on this folder, I get a right click menu for WinZip where I can add to a zip file, add to OpenOffice 3.2 installation files, or configure. Um, this right-click menu is configured most likely via the registry. Now, classically, if people wanted to uninstall a program and they had a hard time doing it, they would go to their C drive, and under Program Files, they would just try and delete the folder for a particular program, such as WinZip. Well, if you uninstall a program that way, it leaves everything in the registry and everything in other locations on the hard drive where a program might have installed itself. So if I delete WinZip by deleting this directory, it's going to leave that right-click menu, and that can cause all kinds of problems, and that includes uh, operating system lockups, too. If the operating system tries to load a menu like this and it can't find the software files for it, well, there's no telling what could happen. So that is why you should always go through the right steps to uninstall a program. So we'll go back here to the Programs and Features window, right-click on WinZip 14, and select Uninstall. Okay, and that's it for today. Uh, once again, I thank you for watching this tutorial video. I hope you'll stick around and watch other tutorials by Wright Consulting or stop by my website for lots of great information, which is www.wright-consulting.net. Thanks again, and take care.